Today we're going to be sharing some amateur tips taking awesome photos. Disclaimer, I have seen some pretty incredible photographers in my time. I went to film school and I've even worked on a few sets and have seen these guys and girls work their magic. This video is not about those type of photographers. This is more for amateurs wanting to up their game in a quick and easy way and boost those likes on the gram. We're going to be covering practical advice that you can use with your cell phone or your new camera. Let's jump into it. Tip number one, sunlight is your best friend. If you want to instantly improve the quality of your photos, leverage natural sunlight. Let's compare these two images. The one on the left is dark. It's hard to read the information on the image because light isn't reaching the subject in the best way. Now the image on the right has some texture, it pops, the sun fills in all the dark holes on the subject and is aesthetically pleasing to look at. Have your subject stand facing the sun wherever it may be and leverage the sun. Tip number two, Remember geometry. This is the time in life you're going to be using it. Don't, and I repeat, don't you dare ask your subject to stand next to a white vanilla wall. 99.99999% of the time, this will be the kiss of death for that photo. Instead, I recommend looking for geometry when taking images. You want to be on the lookout for curves, angles, interesting backgrounds that if they were slightly out of focus would look Instagram worthy. Play around with different angles too. Experiment, have the camera pointing up, down, left, right, straight on the subject. Find those geometrical angles. Tip number three, talk with your subject. Whenever you're taking pictures of someone, make sure to talk with them. Ask them about their day, plans, weekend, get them to relax. This is key. Not everyone wants to stand around for two hours and have their picture taken. So by talking with the person, I found that it helps make the time pass a little bit easier and is an easy way to build trust. This allows you to offer recommendations on how they should stand and look that is easier for them to digest, accept, and give you while you're taking pictures. Tip number four, it's all about the lens. Everything I'm sharing can be accomplished with a smartphone. Honestly, the latest iPhone works just as good as my Mark II. But if you're in the market to get a camera, already have a camera and thinking of upgrading your gear for better shots, it's all about the lens. Your gear will do half the work for you on shoots. If you have a sexy lens, it will amplify your quality. In the description below, I'll have links to the lens I use and their costs. I recommend going to Best Buy and experimenting with different lens before buying the one that you want. Tip number five, make lots of mistakes. I want you to think about Instagram models. For every one photo they share, they probably took the same shot a dozen times. Remember that. Take lots of pictures and experiment. Not every picture will be the picture, but that's okay. The idea is you take an image, review it, and make adjustments till you have something that you feel is Instagram worthy. Bonus tip, study how other photographers do it and get ideas from them. This is a feed from a really good friend of mine. I'll leave his link in the description below. He is a professional photographer, DP, Instagram famous, and all around cool guy. So how can you use a page like this in your own photo shoot? One thing I like to do before going out and shooting is look at pages like this for inspiration. Pay attention to the framing, the angle, the lighting, the background. Skim it and ask yourself why you like the ones you like and how can you replicate what they're doing. I hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know what other tips you have in the comments below. And remember to like, share, subscribe, tell your mom and dad every bit helps.